So what's the final verdict on Red Paladin and Dragonflight? I hope you like puns because I have a few more for you in this video. Pre-patch is here, so get out of the pumpkin patch. Let's talk Red. It's no secret that Blizzard hates Red Paladins. George Bush doesn't care about black people. In the past few days... So it should surprise no one that the Paladin feedback thread hasn't had a blue post since early September, and it wasn't even about Rhett. Almost 2,000 posts later, Rhett's are pissed. And since then, we've received nothing but nerfs, including the most recent nerf to Divine Storm, Radiant Decree, and Sanctified Wrath. But I'm here to tell you, it isn't all bad. We could be guardian druids who aren't going to be golden anytime soon. Sheesh! Okay, okay. So what's up with Rhett is that the changes we're receiving are just okay. And that's mainly because we aren't getting any new shiny toys unless you count battle res for PvE and lay on hands for PvP and I, I guess exorcism. Those are kind of cool and lean into the Rhett Paladin playstyle of the melee healer. Let's call us a mealer for short. Never mind, scratch that. For a hot second, we thought we were getting Blessing of Spell Warning and Long Arm of the Law. Then we thought we were getting Mega Consecration. What we did manage to sneak through is Divine Protection, but it comes at the cost of Shield of Vengeance, so it's not ideal. The only new things we're getting are passive Holy Power generation through Sanctification and a bit more utility built into our Consecration through talents like Consecrated Ground and then the Hallowed Ground PvP talent. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen really want to stretch, you could say that we get multiple talents that are mutually exclusive in Shadowlands, like Final Reckoning and Sanctified Wrath. I don't want to understate the value of being able to access all these talents at the same time. Take a look at the Shadowlands ta talent calculator to see what's possible in Dragonflight. All of these checked talents can be taken at the same time. Unfortunately, none of this really solves the three big weaknesses that Rhett has. Our lack of defenses, our poor utility, and garbage mobility. And that's dumb. What's unfortunate is that Blessing of Spell Warding would have honestly solved two of these problems. Mobility is slightly improved in Dragonflight through our access to Divine Steed boosting talents on top of Unbreakable Spirit, which we had to make a choice of before, and the Hallow Ground talent in PvP. We end up spending a lot of talents to make that happen, and it's still only about a C grade. As in, every caster says see ya and runs away from us, and we have no way to catch them. I wanted to do a whole video on Justicar's Vengeance because I do think that this talent has a lot of potential, especially in PvP, but because it competes with Eye for an Eye, I can't really see us ever taking it. Eye for an Eye is a critical defensive ability that we cannot give up against melee cleaves, and that's where Justicar's would really shine. And that's unfortunate because it does a ton of damage and healing at the same time. It's an incredibly efficient use of Holy Power. It can pretty much replace Word of Glory for self-healing, but it doesn't have a healing hands component, and we'd have to actually be able to connect to a target, which is not something we're going to be doing in Dragonflight. So what's my final verdict on Red Paladin? For PvE, I think we're middle of the pack for DPS. Our damage profile isn't the greatest for Mythic Plus, and because so much of our Holy Power generation is tied up in Sanctification, we do have to be careful about where Consecration gets placed, and that just sucks. So many other classes have snap AoE, but Rhett takes a little bit of ramp time unless you get lucky with an Empyrean Power proc, and then a Divine Purpose proc, and then you can get rolling. We still don't really have the defenses or the mobility to keep up with casters, and they're going to absolutely run circles around us. We may still have a position with another melee to run a melee cleave, like with a warrior or a rogue or a monk, but I think that so many other classes are getting so many other cool abilities that we're going to have a hard time keeping up since our toolkit really hasn't changed. At the end of the day, it comes down to a couple things. It comes down to damage tuning, which apparently Rhett is completely overpowered on damage, so that's why we're getting all these nerfs, and it comes down to group utility, and I don't really see us excelling in either of those things so it's it's a tough decision going into dragonflight to main rep paladin because on the one hand i feel like the easier choice is just to go switch to be an arms warrior where you've got the mobility you've got the mortal strike you've got self-healing you've got all of these great things you've got an engaged developer who cares about your spec um, or or stick with Rep Paladin and you know put, and hope that Blizzard does the right thing and that you know the data and everything else shows that hey like we, we really need to, to make something happen we need to make some changes here but I don't really see the latter happening so what's my final verdict I it, it's a pretty big you know C minus I think for for Rhett going into Dragonflight let me know in the comments below what you think don't forget to hodge that like button and subscribe for more I will see you guys in the next video peace.